The latest debt ceiling deal includes some changes for Americans who get food benefits, the program known as SNAP. This agreement would change work requirements for recipients from 49 years of age and younger and make it 54 and younger. They would need to work or participate in a training program for at least 80 hours a month to be eligible. Only on two, our Sabrina Franz has spoke with one senior who's already feeling the pinch. This is my daughter. Diane Darvis Nelson has been on SNAP for about eight years. My business went kaput. All right. I lost my house, I lost my business, and I found myself in this situation. In 2020, she, like everyone on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, saw an increase in benefits because of the pandemic. Earlier this year, that ended. Beneficiaries assumed the funds would return to pre-pandemic levels, which for her would be $138. Instead, it went down to $23. But this $23, you can't feed a dog for that. It's ridiculous. She says her Social Security benefit did increase slightly, but not enough to compensate for the SNAP loss. So I have to pay food out of that, health care out of that. Dorvis Nelson worries the same could happen to individuals following the latest debt ceiling deal. The agreement does, though, exempt veterans, the unhoused, and young adults transitioning from foster care. And I've written to the president, I've written to the congressman, I've written to my senators. Everybody I can think of. Did you hear back from anyone? Uh, I have heard nothing. Unless there's a deluge of people doing it, it doesn't mean anything. That deal still has to pass Congress to become binding. Obviously, you have to spend SNAP money on food items. You're restricted to that. But not having this money drastically impacts the way that you live on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm 89, so I don't have much longer to live. I would like to live it nicely. In Skokie, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.